Welcome to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. My name is Neil, so this is episode 35 and final episode of our Let's Play. So, final episode, that means we only have the final boss left. But um, there are a few things we want to do first, because uh, at the end of the previous episode, we I kind of got confused about the Pot Noble. We completed his mission, but we couldn't buy the things from him, and there was a good reason. So we're going to go back to the Pot Noble location. So we basically went here and go like, oh, it's empty. He's gone. But I should have just got like, there, there we go. There's a fishy down here. Let's jump down. Oh, a talking fish. So here we have the inventory. This is the combined inventory of the two pot nobles. Now that the other one is dead at this point. So what do we want to buy? We have 25 and we can buy the majority of it. Uh, the floating passage text is an weapons art. And we can buy the divine grass if we feel like it. So this means we've missed one fish somewhere. That means we can't buy the last dragon blood droplet. We, it's, I, I kind of know where it is or it could be in a lot of different locations but it's it's probably in either one of the boats or it's in some of the water somewhere where it just ran away from us it doesn't matter we don't need the dragon broad so that was that part uh, if you notice we bought two uh, two parts of a mask that's a late game item that you can only get through this one so you have to complete pretty much all the game and swim all the places in order to even buy all of this and we're going to buy the last part of it the last part of it there are three parts of this mask and the last one is in abandoned on the memorial bob here it cost five thousand but because we got the promissory note it now costs only four and a half thousand which is pretty nice so you're not going to need it uh, until the end it's basically more of a New game plus thing, but we are going to Need use it, and I'll offering. explain it when we get it. Uh, let's just check mask four thousand five hundred. That Maybe means that means we need to find four thousand five hundred in our inventory. I'm pretty sure we have that, right? We have seven fifty and thirty. Okay, that's seventeen. Uh, four, five. There we go. That's thirty-two, forty-two, and then three of these. There. Need right. an all. What do we want to buy? We want to buy the dragon mask, and now that we have all of them, oops. May that depart. Ta da! A transcend dancing dragon mask. A dragon's head dancing mask made whole by piecing the fragments back together. Grants the ability to exchange skill points for attack power in the sculptor's idol. You need five skill points for one attack power. So that's basically when you don't either you don't want any more of the abilities or you don't have any one. Right. Uh, the Okami warrior women would wear this to Fontenet Palace. There, they would dance as an offering to the dragon. Mysteriously, the ritual left them brimming with vigor. We want to be brimming with vigor. So, the situation here is that we have four and we missed six thousand, uh, 7,600. Hmm. Well, let's go uh, do a little farming run before the final boss because we're really close to actually getting that. So, it's, uh, it's also a good opportunity for us to try to get some better loot here and I'll also show you like what is the best late game farm place and we're gonna prepare a bit for this and first of all we're gonna fight the Okami so that's always the piercing Sabimaro and on top of that we are going to use get some free spirit shots we are going to get some use a balloon because why not possession so we can get more items because why not and we are going to get uh, some Gaijin sugar so we can sneaky sneaky there and then we're gonna go and that one and that one there we go okay so now there are three here and you want to take them one at a time the first one does not need anything whoa that was bad should be able to just hack him away Okay. But the other two are kind of a bit more tricky because you can't you can't get in a situation where you don't fight both of them. But we can sometimes sneak in and no ah Come on. Where's the other one? There you are. Poison. 
great. Ah, they're flying around like idiots. Stand still so I can kill you. There. Perfect. So we got those three. Suck it up. And we go back. So I got some scrap magnetite and some adamantite. Some weird, some crafting materials. Very nice to get. We are going to just rest. That is uh, three times 1,600. So we made progress. We made progress. I'm going to do the same thing again. And we're actually going to, because we don't want to use... This is just free materials. And... Healing gourd. Let's try again. This time we're going to do it better. <laughs> this one. As long as you just attack. R1, R1, R1. Yep, but I'll still suck up your gold. Good stuff. Uh, that was also some scrap magnetite. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Hey, that was nasty. I don't want you to... There, come on. Ah... Stop running away! <laughs> Luckily this is not silly at all. There we go. <laughs> Alright. go. I think we got everything we wanted here. And we got enough to sort of go clean up the rest. So from here on we are going to head straight to the final boss fight. Uh, and by straight I mean almost because we do need a bit more so that is back to Ashena Castle, the Ashena Reservoir. This is where we killed the last of the Seven Spears. And it's also where we go move on from here. And we are not going to need this one anymore. This guy's for some reason still here. I'm gonna go all the way around here. Because we wanted to kill him easily. That one. Ah, it's 8,000. It's not enough. This one? Oh, this didn't even give us anything. Mm. Alright, well, let's uh, jump up here and see if we can sneak up on the, the two guys fighting up here. This guy. And actually, just let them fight for them. Did I? Do I get XP for that? I don't know. Ow! You know, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing the Ishimanji double. That's just pure love. Ow! That was my friend doing that. Bastard. I don't know why I did this. Oh my god, they're both hitting me. Okay, it's way too dangerous to be the part of this. enough right no it wasn't enough because I captured him ah idiot here uh, okay all right we'll just go down and uh, take this guy once again dude just need just need them enough to get the five points there we go all right let's get this eye again I mean I know if, if you really want to and you want something super easy then this is also 700 and 80 points. Bag. Just like that. Bing. That's what we wanted to. Okay, so now we head to back to the beginning. This is where we were at the very start of the game. I love the fact that it's back to the start of the game. It's just something about it's it's very Miyazaki way. Uh, the reason why there's loot here is actually because we could have come back here at an earlier point and if we had done that there would be some uh, some of the small ninjas but 
not right now. There. They are no more. That'd be kind of weird that they were just here. At this point. There. And there's also one down there. Ah, didn't even take damage. Cool. Oops. Up. And we have this one. Alright, so before we go in, let's give uh, just a few moments of the talk uh, about... There, we got that one. Enhance our attack power. Attack power has been enhanced. We now have 14 attack power. That's good. Uh, let's see. We've got the right things. Okay, so... I'm going to use Ishimanji a lot. I'm going to use this one. So there are some weapon arts attacks. It's a four-phase four phase boss fight, which is crazy. And I've been practicing it in a sort of a boss run mode that uh, so that I'm prepared for it right now because we're going to go in just straight in and just wreck it in one, one try, uh, hopefully, so we can complete the whole game in one first try. Anyway, uh, we're going to need this for the weapon arts. That's uh, some big things that are unblockable, very different, difficult to read and difficult to dodge. The whole point is about you stay effect, stay <laughs> stay effective, you stay aggressive, and then you find openings where you can use Ichimonji. And we are not gonna need that one, so let's not have it here. Instead, we are going to get each spear, spirit fall because we are going to do that. So since we're using this one, uh, then it will also override divine confetti. So I'm not really bothering to use divine confetti because you're gonna override it anyway. So let's go in and uh, just enjoy. Secret patches key. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we're ready. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Back to the beginning. Bakuro. <laughs> Shinobi of the Divine Air, we meet again. Behold, the second mortal blade. Genichiro. If you think you can change Ashina's fate with such a thing, you are mistaken. Wolf. No one has the right to the dragon's heritage. It is no one's to bear. Got it. I wish there was another way. It's all right. Look how confident we draw the sword now. Not like the last time one we met Genichiro here. Yes. Let's finish this. I will restore so, Ashina to glory. To we have to... That's one opening. Okay, that's not perfect. That's another one. Actually, that was. Come on. And we get one of those. And there we go. He's dead. Okay, second phase. Once more, the dragon blood surging through her veins. With this, Ashina's long night comes to an end.
pitiful grandchild. This was your last wish. To see Ashina returned from the great beyond. Which means Sekiro. I must destroy you. Okay. Come, Sekiro! So, Ishin Ashina is uh, at his height. And again, the same. Fine openings. Given Ichimanji. And that one is. Well. Ah. That's an opening. That's second phase. And third phase is much harder. Ah, too slow. Should have taken. And that's an opening for Ichimanji. Another one, thank you. Man. And Ichimanji. Oh. Phase three. Last phase. Now he can also do. Now he can do lightning as well. But it's also an opening if you choose it. Oh no! Get the healing in. Two healing gore shoes, that's actually quite smooth. Do it. Well done, Sekiro. Farewell. Memory of Saint Ishin. At his peak, Ishin Ashina devoted himself to deadly conflict in pursuit of strength, a single minded killing machine of a man. Yeah, it's really matters. Amid the guarded Dragon's Flash, Conrad performs a high speed cut from a sheath stance. I think that was one of those he used, but we always. that. Now we have unlocked the Gauntlets of Strength. This is where we can come back and do boss fights just one at a time. Just, just have fun with that. Gauntlets, Dragon. Divine Air path has been unlocked. Okay, so um, God of Strength Severance has been unlocked. Okay, so at this point, uh, we are going to do something. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to talk to here to Kuro. But when we do that, they, we have uh, Alex to just show. Wolf, where are you? Now we have three options, giving divine tears, this is the first option, and this is the one that opens up the, um, um, yeah, this is the default ending, basically, you just go through, kill the dragon, give, go back here, so you kind of missed all the clues, uh, the second one is the ever blossom, this is the one where we, or this one where we kill Koro, this one where we kill ourselves to sever the ties of immortality, thereby purifying uh, Kuro and making him mortal, and then the secret, really good ending, the dragon's return, 
with the frozen tears. We got the frozen tears from the divine child of the rejuvenating waters, uh, who then who ate the two serpent hearts, and uh, that's going to be a good ending. So the only way I can do this is by uh, get all three is by playing the whole game three times. No, I can actually uh, uh, save a game and redo this, and then I can come back and do the other ending. So I'm going to cut it together so that we do one ending, and then we'll uh, I'll cut the other endings on top of it so that you get to see all three endings. We're going to start with the default ending, uh, the weaker one, and then we'll uh, Wolf, come back. Where are you? I'll add the other ones on top. Give divine dragons tears. I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. My sworn shinobi, now! Sever these ties of immortality. Not exactly a great ending. It is best that you have this. No doubt, the day will come. When a shinobi arrives seeking strength. This is the perfect Miyazaki ending. Things looping around. It also does that in Bloodborne. So we didn't break free. Uh, so absolutely fantastic. We ended it, uh, but this is not a good ending. We'll uh, replay, and I will stitch the other two endings on top. But first, I want to just uh, go back into the dilapidated temple just to show you the last parts of it. We don't want to watch all of those credits. So it says start playthrough number two now. This, if we do that, then you go into New Game Plus and start all over, but uh, you have all your skills and abilities and money there. So it's it's basically replaying the whole thing at a much higher difficulty. So it's pretty cool. Not what we're going to do right now. So we're going to be uh, start playthrough now. No. And that just brings us back at the end here with the Dilapidated Temple. Another memory ashina memories left behind by another concentrate on these in inmost regrets or obsessions at a sculptor's idol to change the wolf's appearance has no effect on ability the memory of a shinobi that once served ashina it is accompanied by depth of gratitude to the one who took the arm and graced him with the name sekijo so that is now we have memories of another. Memories, regrets, and obsessions left by another. Harboring these innermost thoughts at a sculptor's idol will allow the wolf to alter his form, though doing so will have no bearing on his ability. Taking charge of another's regret is but a fleeting thing, after all. So that's basically just <laughs> a Sekiro way of just saying, you have a new skin. 
Change form. Change form has been unlocked. Cool. And Gauntlet of Strength has been unlocked. And uh, Gauntlet of Strength is, just for explaining it, here you can go in here, uh, reflect on the memories, and you can go in and fight some boss fights. And this is a variant of one of the end bosses. And there's also another one where it's Guardian Ape, Great Shinobi Owl, True Monk, Genishiro Way of Tomoe, and then a bonus one. And there's a third one, which is the toughest one. Uh, that gets Shiro, but we also have the enhanced attack power from Saint Ishin. We want to do that one. One who returns from the great beyond, doing so at the peak of his of their prosperity. Ishin coveted strength up in all manner of techniques throughout his mortal struggle. He wished for war until it was his final hour, and that is precisely what he got. Attack power has been enhanced. Okay, so and we can also just do change form. Uh, we'll change wolf's appearance. There, so we are now the wolf, or we can be Sekijo, who is actually the sculptor in his youth. Which I think this looks amazing. This suit. I mean, there is one that just looks way better, but uh, we'll we'll unlock that. Well, maybe we won't. But uh, now this is just another look. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to reload and uh, replay and cut it together so that we can see the other two endings because I think that's uh, we've been working hard on the other two endings so we want to see those because the Dragon's Homecoming is the real one that we want to get so stay with me I'll just uh, with the magic of editing we'll go in there and here we are let's go for the second ending the purification ending Wolf where are you? Let's give it a shot and see what happens, what the difference is. I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. hereby condemn the last immortal. May you live on and embrace what it means to be human. Poof. I don't know how we turned into Sakura flowers. That's a slightly better ending. At least no kids died. Doesn't lend itself to a follow up DLC. So you're leaving? Yes. I too will live for every moment. And then I will pass on. Just as my shinobi did for me. Lady Emma, I owe much to you as well.
So the divine child became mortal and went out into the world and we sacrificed ourselves for that. It's, it's an okay ending, but it could be better. Let's see if we can get an even better ending. And now for the final ending, Let's see how that goes. Wolf, where are you? So this is the secret ending. Remember the two hearts of uh, of the serpent we had to get. Those were not easy, and they were very hidden. There are lots of, of hidden things and sequences and uh, overhearing and sneaking around. So all of that has to be done in order to get this ending. Let's see if it pays off. I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. We must leave this place, my lord. Lord Kuro, may you be at rest. Allow me to hold you in my heart. Everyone? It is time. I must depart. The journey to sever our ties with fate will be a very long one indeed. And yet, you still wish to join us. I do. You have my thanks, Shinobi of the Dragon. Know that Kuro shares my joy. Let us depart to the west. To the birthplace of the Divine Dragon. Definitely the best ending, but it seems like the divine child of the rejuvenated waters just absorbed Kuro. But I mean, if this isn't <laughs> just leading into a Sekiro 2 or DLC, I don't know what is, and there's references to Tomoe, and it's just like everything about it just 
screams more and more and more and I wish there was something more but there is unfortunately no indication that they are going to make any continuation of it. So that's going to be the end of this absolutely fantastic journey. I I really love this game. It's definitely one of my absolute favorite games. It plays so well in the story and it, I've, everything about it is just absolutely fantastic. So I hope you have enjoyed the uh, playthrough and uh, yeah, so we managed to get all the way through without dying a real death. So we did not even get to discover what Dragon Rot does because that only happens when you die and we didn't do that. So I, I hope you're satisfied with that performance. I'm myself pretty damn happy. Also like rounding it off with a perfect flawless kill on uh, on the hardest boss in the game. That's, uh, that's okay. So we are going to uh, wrap this one up. Thank you very much for watching this series. If there are other games like this, well, th there definitely will be other games like this in the future. Uh, I'm going to be playing Demon Souls, I'll be playing God of War, when God of War 2 comes out, I'm going to play that. So there's a lot of these kind of games uh, in the in the future. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, do remember to subscribe to the channel to check out more content like this and other stuff as well. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Take care, and as always, stay effective.